much better. <laughs> it's a difficult thing. All right, so uh, first off, tell me uh, where you're from and what you're studying. Um, I'm from Turkey, but I'm a master's student in Sweden. I've had part of my education in Sweden, Finland, and the UK. So I see myself as kind of an international student. All right. Well, tell me about your experience so far as a campus ambassador for some. Yeah, I mean, I've really enjoyed presenting some to students and professors in my university. And the good thing with this program is that students actually learn about open source technologies from our students, uh, like them, from, from all around the world. And like, we held regular also meetings in my university. And I have to say that sometimes students are more interested in free and open beer, especially along with the pizza, <laughs> and compared to free and open software. And well, that's why we do have a pizza and beer line item as part of our student club program, so uh, we're, we're listening. That's much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we also have some tech demos for students, like we introduce all the technologies like Sunspot, MySQL, I mean, anything that you can name. All right, well, I understand you're working on a project called Waterwell, which is designed to measure water quality in Africa. Could you tell us all a little bit about that project? Sure. Um, Waterwell is a wireless sensor network for monitoring water quality automatically. And we have a very international team behind this project. And we have people from China, from Pakistan, from Turkey, even from Greece, I can say. You know, we're working in the same wow, I can't team. believe you got Turks and Greeks working on the same project. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I was the project manager, you know, he had to admit that Turkish kebab was much better. <laughs> So what it does is that uh, it helps the people in charge to monitor water quality in real time and so that they can apply the right treatments by the help of the early warnings about the water. And this project is designed for the developing countries since there are like more than 1.1 billion people in the world who have access to safe drinking water. So we would like to solve this problem. So you're using sun technology and open source technologies to actually improve the quality of life and lifespan for people in Africa. Exactly. I guarantee you when we created the awesome clubs and the campus we never imagined that would happen. That's, that's great. So um, how did you start solving the problems? How did you get engaged in this project? I mean, uh...